Hi. Welcome to the story session. Today's story title we are going to see is Grandma's Glasses. The story is written by Rohini Neelakani. Illustrations of the story are done by Thanaya Vyas. And the book is published by Pratham Books. This story revolves around a grandmother who loses her glasses all the time. And this story is narrated by her granddaughter. This is her granddaughter. Nani keeps losing her glasses. Where did I keep them? She always asks. Without her glasses, she cannot find her glasses. Nani Mother's mother in Hindi is called Nani. This girl says, my grandmother always keeps the glasses somewhere else. She loses it. And she comes and asks, where did I keep my glasses? Where are my glasses? In a funny way, this girl continues that she cannot find the glasses without her glasses. So, she needs me to be her eyes to find her own eyes. So, the grandmother needs the help of her granddaughter to find her eyes. Here she means that the glasses are the grandmother's eyes. Sometimes her spectacles are in the bathroom or on her bed or on her head. Nani, I say, they are on your head. Spectacles meaning glasses. Another name for glasses is called spectacles. Each and every time, she keeps the glasses somewhere or the other and keeps on searching. So her usual place of uh, losing her glasses are in the bathroom. Can you all see in the picture? She has kept her glasses on the wash basin, on the bed. And sometimes she keeps it on her head like this and searches everywhere for the glasses. And whenever she keeps it on her head and searches, her granddaughter says, Oh, Nani, it is on your head. Of course, how silly of me. Thank you, Richard, dear. She says with a giggle. This time, Though I cannot find Nani's glasses, not yet. The granddaughter's name is Richa. <clears throat> and giggle meaning to laugh lightly in a silly manner is called giggle. So whenever the girl says that it is on your head to her grandmother, she says, oh, what a silly thing I have done. I know. So she laughs in a silly manner. And she thanks her granddaughter for finding her glasses also. As usual, the grandmother has lost the glasses now. This time, even for Richa, it is very difficult to find the glasses. I have looked everywhere in all the usual places, on her head, in the bathroom, inside her cupboard, and on the puja shelf. I have looked under her favorite chair and on the dining table. Nothing. No glasses. Where could they be? So she says, that she has searched all the usual places wherever her grandmother used to leave the glasses. She has named them also. 
she has searched in the bathroom and on grandmother's head no inside the cupboard no on the puja shelf no under her favorite chair also she has searched see how she is lying under the chair and searching for the glasses can you all see in the picture here yes and she has searched on the dining table also now this time it is not there in the usual places so she thinks oh where can she keep the glasses other than these usual places i decided to be a good detective i decided to find out what she had done all day detective is a person who collects information and proofs in order to solve a crime which has happened now to find out the grandma's glasses richard decides to become a detective and she says that i should go each and everywhere in the house and see wherever she has gone today and find out the glasses i did nothing much today except that veena's mother in law came you know and how much she gossips we had many cups of tea and she ate all the laddus your mother had made said nani gossip meaning passing information about others which are not true is called gossiping after deciding to become a detective first thing richard did was she went to her grandmother and inquired about what all she did today the grandmother said that she did not do much that day and only her friend veena's mother in law came home who always gossips and they both had lots and lots of cups of tea and that lady ate all the laddus which richa's mother had made raju said nani was very busy today she wrote a letter to the chief minister about a pension pension it is a kind of salary which the employer pays the retired employee and now richa came to her brother she started enquiring about nani that what all she did today and for that raju replied that she was very busy in writing a letter to the chief minister for her pension amma said she spoke for a long time to your masi she finished knitting the sweater for raju and then she went for a short walk i now had many clues i quickly looked around new places in the house ah i have found the missing glasses at last richa came to her mother and started asking oh amma what all did my grandmother do today masi meaning mother's sister is called masi in hindi so she said she was speaking to her masi after finishing that she finished the sweater which she was knitting for her brother raju and after finishing all this work she went for a short walk and now richa thought oh i have got a lot many clues from this i think i'll be able to find the glasses very easily and with the help of those clues she started looking around the new places where she has got from the clues 
So at last, she found the missing glasses. Oh, wow. The spectacles were wrapped in wool, kept next to her pen, under the phone, on her desk. And I found a half-eaten laddu there as well. For Nani's next birthday, I will save money for an extra pair of glasses. Wrap meaning covered with. So now Richa explains where she got the glasses. She says it was on the desk next to the pen with which the grandmother was writing the letter, right? We remember. And it was under the phone and it was fully covered with the wool with which she was knitting a sweater for Ra Raju. Yes. And she also found a laddu which has been half eaten. Now, Richa plans for her nani's next birthday. She plans that she should get a gift which will be useful for nani. What was that? It was an extra pair of glasses. That glasses she can use whenever she loses her old glass. Right? Yes. Nani, Hindi word for grandmother. Masi, Hindi word for mother's sister. Bye. Difficult words, spectacles, a pair of glasses. Giggle, to smile slightly in a silly manner. Detective, a private investigator who collects evidences. Gossip, spreading news about others which are not true. Wrap, cover. Try these. Use the illustrations from the story to describe the location of the certain objects in each picture. Who in your family sometimes needs help and why?